Let's say the United States needs money. Instead of issuing their own United States notes backed by their own credit, they issue treasury bonds. They then sell these bonds to the Federal Reserve, which buys them with money they created out of thin air. The money that the Fed created then goes to the U.S. The U.S. then pays interest on the money that the Fed lent to the Treasury. So to clarify, the Fed creates money from nothing, loans that money to the U.S., and then charges interest on that money. What this means is that there is never and will never be enough money in circulation or in existence to pay back that debt. We as a country, as well as private citizens, are forever enslaved by debt with no way of ever paying it off. Now when the Federal Reserve buys bonds on Wall Street, the major financial firms that have been selected as dealers deposit the proceeds at their own banks. Fed rules require banks to keep 10% of their deposits in reserves, but the bank is free to issue loans equal to the remaining 90%. Let's say the Federal Reserve buys a $1,000 bond. After putting away 10% into their reserves, they are then able to loan out 90% or $900. Since the original $1,000 is still on deposit, the $900 in loan proceeds is more new money, money created out of nothing. A total of $1,900 of new money is now available in the economy. Now the person that took the $900 loan spends that money. The payee then deposits the $900 into their bank account and once again reserves and deposits increase. This process goes on and on until that original $1,000 bond, which was created from nothing, becomes $10,000, making this one full-fledged debt machine while also devaluing the dollar. The more money that is out in the economy, the more the value decreases. There's no wonder that since the implementation of the Federal Reserve in 1913, the dollar has lost over 95% of its value. The U.S. dollar will eventually be destroyed due to an overwhelming financial crisis, and a globalist-run monetary authority will come along to save the day. And much like the Fed pretends that its goal is to prevent another Great Depression, the global currency will pledge to prevent another financial crisis, thus putting more power into the hands of a few and enslaving humanity that much more.